All right, so I'm going to be showing how to install this trailer. It's a Kingbird cargo carrier anti-rattle um, with net, straps, and locks. All right, so we're going to see how this goes. You can see we still have this cover on, so I'm going to have to remove that first. I'm going to see if I can show you guys the entire process. All right, this is on the long range um, 2022 Model Y. All right. This cover is somewhat of a pain to get off. So yeah, all right. What we're gonna have to do, I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver here with some electrical tape, all right? So what I'm going to do is we're gonna need two pieces of this, all right? This is basically so we don't scratch up the plastic here. So I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut it in half, all right? I'm going to stick both pieces together. Sorry if I'm going out of camera. I'm just going to stick both pieces together so that we have um, double layer thick. All right, then we're going to just take the screwdriver and we're going to stick it on there. Okay, just fold it over so that way we have this uh, double layer thick thing. All right, and then to get this off, we're going to get the screwdriver in here. And this is going to be somewhat of a pain let me see if I can get a better view okay and you just get in there and we're gonna pop it out so you can see part of it is popping out and then we're gonna go over and just keep working our way over we're basically getting the clips out okay so we're just gonna keep working our way down here you can see what the clip looks like all right just keep working your way down just like that and if you're wondering why I'm using a metal screwdriver and not like a plastic tool, um, it's because the plastic tools are very flexible, bendy. So when you try and pry this, actually you end up just breaking the plastic tools and they don't work too well. So yeah, all right, then you got clips on the sides. We're gonna see if we can just bend it in by hand, kind of pull it in this way, okay? We might have to actually use the tool down here as well. All right, you can see it's so much force that the tape is just breaking there. So I'm gonna move it back over. Try and get in the bottom edge there and see if we can pry that out. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna also go down here, same thing. Okay, bottom edge and pry that out. And you can see the bottom clips are still holding very strong. So once you get all these sides and the tops out, you can kind of pull it upwards and the clips still kind of hold. So down here, there's um, some special clips on the left side or on the left. Okay, it looks like after I twisted it, it came out. But here you go, you can see it has all these clips here. Okay, it has these clips here, it has all these clips. So you can see these clips are harder to get to because they have it in the middle here. These ones, when you kind of pull it in, they come out easier. So technically it would be easier to pry in from these like this middle side here but uh yeah if you don't know what you're doing then a lot of times people end up breaking these clips some people they um cut some of these clips off to make it easier to remove in the future but um i'm i don't want to damage that all right um also uh some people will take this cover and they'll cut a square out here to kind of line up with this so they can leave this cover on and have it like very streamlined with the um, hitch or tow thing in place. Okay, so that's how we get that thing out. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut open this box. I don't know if I'm going to need extra tools for this because this is my first time even opening this thing and setting this up. So we'll see what needs to be done. Anyway, so let's zoom out a little. Maybe I should zoom out more or just raise this higher. I don't want to be standing in the sun though. It's hot today. Okay, so here we go. We have this whole box. We're just gonna cut this open. You wanna be careful not to cut too far because you don't wanna cut the stuff that's in there. I like to start from the side because they have the flaps that fold in sideways. Okay. All right, that kind of protects the stuff. Then what you do, you just cut an edge here and you can usually pull that up, cut a tiny bit there, and then work your way over. There we go. Okay that aside so we'll open this box up okay so here you can see oh, why is it not like that okay I'm move this over I'm gonna hit the car okay I can go underneath 
All right, so we got this one basket here. Um, there are two pieces, so oh, they strapped it together, okay? So I'm gonna have to use the scissors, I guess, to cut it. Usually I just use a needle and get these straps out. Um, let me do that just in case I need to return it. I'm gonna get a tiny flathead screwdriver and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So I'm gonna get you guys a close-up look of how I do this. How I remove the zip ties, okay? And not that many people will care <laughs> how I remove zip ties, but uh, okay. Get this stuff out of the way. All right, so we got this here. Let's zoom in. Okay, the way zip ties work is there's a little thing that goes down and latches so it can't go in reverse. I'm just gonna use the flathead screwdriver. I don't know if it's even gonna be clear enough for you guys to see, because I can't see what I'm recording. But I uh, get the flathead screwdriver in there, pull it so it latches, uh, ratchets once, and then, oops. And then once I get the screwdriver between the ratchet and that, you can see we could easily, oops, you can see we can easily just pull the rest of the plastic thing through, oh no. It's hard to see what I'm even recording, so I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm doing, but there we go. And then we can pull this through. There you go, and there we go. Get that out. Um, do we have to do all the sides? Okay, it looks like they do it on multiple sides. We're gonna go over to the other side. Can't even see what I'm recording. Let's just zoom out a bit and you guys are just gonna have to, oh, what is that? It's already broken. Okay, well, whatever. Guess we don't need to save that one. All right, and then we got the one over here. Probably need to tilt this down. All right, there's like a lot of these zip ties. I know some people don't care. You can fast forward past this part. <laughs> Head in there. Okay. And bring this out. Oh, I don't even know what you guys are seeing. You guys are just seeing my hand. <laughs> it is what it is. If all you see is my hand, that's all you see. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's coming out. Yeah. This thing is too fiddly fiddly. go. Release that one. Okay. Here we go. Got all that out. I think that's it for now. Let's go back to one time zoom. Let's raise this thing up. And let's see. Can we lift this out now? Or is there more stuff holding it in? Is it just heavy? Just don't comb out of my way. I'm going to shove that under there. Somehow lift this out. Okay, we can't just lift this out. So I'm going to lift this, get these other things out. I think. And get the net out of here. Okay, we got the cargo net. We got the ratchet strap thingies here. Okay, one of them. I think it comes with two. Yep. Right, there's a box in here with I don't know what. Ow. Okay, we got a box. I don't know what's in there. We'll find out. We got a longer box. And we got this. And we got now another strap. This thing has instructions about it. Whew. Okay, let's open this up. What do we got? Owner's manual. By the way, the the cargo or the hitch for the Model Y, um, Tesla says can only support 160 pounds of like vertical weight. So you don't want to put too much weight. This thing itself is already almost 50, 60 pounds. 
so you don't want to put more than 100 pounds on the thing i don't know how it will affect it when the car bounces and things like that so you want to be very careful all right hopefully you can read all this on your own okay and what else is there only one page here so this is what it comes with oh okay so we're gonna have the and also you want to put the load on evenly you don't want to put it uh and it also says not to transport people or animals on the carrier. Okay. Don't let it block the tail lights. All right. Do not carry loads that are wider than the carrier platform. And attach the reflective stickers. Okay. Make sure everything is secured. Okay. Check, uh, check it frequently and do not exceed the lesser so this is the hitch manufacturer's tongue weight rate rating and the vehicle manufacturer's rear load limit all right so this thing says 550 total pounds uh pounds of total cargo but uh again you want to check what the limit of your vehicle is all right this is what it comes with and all right so they tell you how to assemble it so you want to get the two baskets side by side and the round tube uh, and the side rail should be inserted into the opening of the other basket. Put the main tube, track the... okay. So I might have to take out this blanket thing to work on it because I don't want to throw it on the ground and get it all scratched up. Line the metal plate, da da da. Okay, I guess you guys will see how I put it together because I'm going to actually read this over as I do it. So let me get the blanket thing set up and I'll be back. All right, so here we go. Hopefully I'll be able to see everything. We're gonna get everything out of the box. Let's actually rotate this. This. That can sound nice. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out. They are still attached. So we're gonna put this over here, I guess. This jumps out, set the box aside. Let's see, can I get all this stuff out? No. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get all these little zip tie, twist tie thingies out. So let's rotate this again. Okay, I got this here. I don't know what I'm recording. Okay, more zip ties there. Let's get this stuff out. Okay. Put that box out of my way. Okay, this zip tie here. This thing out. Okay. Come on. These zip ties are somewhat of a pain. Problem is, this one is kind of like I have to lift it vertically. Okay, also, if you're wondering why I record this stuff, sometimes it's also just for myself so I can know how to put it back together to return it. Because, I, again, I know a lot of people don't care to see this stuff. All right, so I think we got all the zip tie. Oh, there's one more down there, but that's just holding that foam onto this thing. So we can lift this out now. I'm gonna zoom out again so you can kind of see everything. Oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right, there's one more zip tie over there, um, but we can lift this out already. Okay, so I'm gonna lift that out of the way. Um, and then I can take this zip tie out. you guys are able to see what I'm doing right now but uh you saw how I got all these little zip ties out already so I don't think you need to see that there we go okay they use the zip ties to hold this foam stuff onto it so we're just gonna get rid of that foam stuff now okay. toss that aside 
side. All right, so we got two pieces here. And what we're gonna do, this, we're gonna have to put it upside down. Let's see if I get rid of this foam stuff. This foam out of my way. All right, so we're gonna put this upside down like that. All right, we're gonna rotate this so you guys can see better everything else. Done with the screwdriver. Get this foam off here. Uh oh, there's one more. Thought it was done. Okay. So we'll get another zip tie off here. This foam thingy out. Okay. The box. Right. Next thing we gotta open up all these boxes of stuff. So get these two. Get this out. Oh, Alright, we gotta flip this over. this over all right so these little circle tubey things need to line up I don't know if you can see that okay so on both sides they have those little circle tubes so we got to line those up to go into the square thingies here okay put that in all right shove them both oh oh is it supposed to shred the rubber piece that just shredded the rubber piece up that doesn't look good is it supposed to do that yeah I don't like how it did that that's not very nice because now it's gonna shove it in without the rubber piece. They didn't say, are we supposed to take those rubber pieces off maybe? Let me see here. Okay. Give me a second because I like to do everything following the instructions. I'm gonna read this over real quick and I'll be back. All right, well, it didn't really, the instructions aren't really clear about the rubber part but it seems like if it's without that, it's kind of loose. Um, I'm gonna open up these boxes, these small boxes, and see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna see what we need here first. So let's go ahead and cut this stuff open. open as well. Okay. Go and we'll cut open this box as well. Okay. What do we have in here? Are these the reflectors? Okay. So the reflectors are just stickers that they include. Here you can see you got these overly round ones that are kind of sticking together. We got two, then we got these small rectangular ones. What else we got in these boxes here? Okay, we got the lock to lock that into place so people can't easily steal it. All right, we got the metal plates that go on the side here. They're all wrapped up. I probably got to zoom in here so you guys can see better. We got all these bolts that are in like a vacuum packing thingy. Okay. Interesting. I thought there would have been more reflector things, but okay. Well, we got that. Let's open up this bigger one. I don't know what you guys can see. Okay. 
Um, they got these smaller reflector things that they kind of, they got folded on each other, which kind of is annoying. But uh, let's see here. Okay. Try and get all this foam stuff unstuck from it. really stuck on there okay all right so I don't know why or how this thing got all folded up but it did and there's adhesive stuck to this all right I wasn't thinking these would be stickers I thought these were gonna be like those plastic reflector things but okay then we got inside of here two bars okay I'm guessing the one that goes into the car and the other one so if I remember, I'm assuming this one goes into the car and it kind of curves up a little bit so it's a little raised higher from the ground. And then we got the straight out pole that goes into the bottom of the thing. Okay, so we got this straight bar. We'll set that aside. Okay, so we're done with all these boxes. Okay, let's open up this thing. Is there a starting for this wrappy stuff? Okay, so we're just gonna unroll this. I'm gonna actually wrap it around, I guess, so I can reuse it later. Okay, I guess I'll just wrap it around my hand. Actually, I can wrap it around like one of those boxes. So that way it stays more open like this. Okay, so take this box and we'll just wrap it on there. Okay. Yeah, I know. Most people just wrap this stuff up, throw it away, and whatever. But uh, I don't know, just in case. I'm weird like that. You can probably tell I'm like a pack rat. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this stuff up. I'm just gonna unravel this around here just like that. Okay. Alright, just like this. Okay, let me wrap it over a corner edge. Hopefully you guys can see how I'm unraveling this thing. Okay, there we go. Put all that out. So we got that. Set that aside. They do wrap it in this foam, and there's the bolts in there as well, it seems. And they actually provide you tools. Oh, okay. So this is the thing so it doesn't rattle so much. I'm gonna have to see how I can put that because there's like a small hole in the uh, work area for the thing. And they give you all these tools. But I'm probably going to end up using my own tools because I feel like these might not be good enough. And then you get two of these plates. All right. And only one says Kingbird. So I guess technically if you don't want to see their logo, you can hide this and put it on the other side. Personally, I don't really like to see logo stuff on my things. So I'm going to actually swap them around and have the logo facing inwards. Um, give me a second. I'm going to check with the license plate if you can fit a license plate here. All right, so I just checked with my license plate and no, these don't line up with the license plate. So you can't really mount your license plate onto this same square hole. All right. Um, but anyways, let me see. How am I going to do this other thing? This sticker is kind of messed up. You can see one is all scratched up and one's all shiny. I wonder if they'll send me replacement stickers especially since this one's all folded like that, but I think it should be okay because it's just the backing. All right, anyways, the other one that's all scratched up is a different story. I might have to get a replacement. Anyways, let's go ahead and see how we can assemble this thing. All right, so um, we've got all the bolts in here. So we're gonna take these out, of course. We just gotta probably slip, oh, there's already a broken area there. So we're gonna take all these out. Okay, I'm just gonna carefully take all this stuff out. Just pull it in, stuff out. That's a few 
pieces here. Okay, so I guess it has both options. You can use the regular one and you can use the one that's a lock. So we also have this one that's a lock. I'm gonna test it real quick. So we have this, all right, and it just comes out like that. Nice, nice and easy, okay? And then it has this rubber thing to close it up. Uh, hopefully you saw that, okay? Let that jump aside. Okay, what else do we need here? I need all the boxes, got the key out, okay. So, I think we have to get this little tubing in first. Um, but that's, I don't know, it's kind of a pain. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because we might have to line up these. I'm going to line up the other thing. Let's see, we'll turn it sideways like this. And um, I'm assuming this is the back because it has this for the reflector. So let me read over some stuff and I'll be back. Alright, so... What I figured out, I'm going to see if I can do it this way. I'm going to turn it over so that the little part with the reflector thingies will be the other way. Oops. I should actually rotate them around. Okay, so I'm going to get one over here and this one over here. I'm going to rotate this. That way the opening or the top is facing my car so I can get over here. I'm going to try and align the rubber thingies and see if I can keep them in place all right okay let's see I got too much stuff in the way all right so the reason I did that was because the red thing for for these three bolts are gonna be facing down so let me see if I can get this one in where I can kind of line it up first and see we can kind of get this into place all right and then we can get these bolts and line them up. I'm not sure which side the washer goes on. I'm assuming it goes on the side with this twisty bolt. I don't know if they have instructions for that, but I'm assuming because when you twist this, that way it can keep the washer from like just eating into this. Um, but let me see if there's instructions that tell you that. I'm pretty sure that's the way you do it, but I'll be back. All right, well, there's no instructions at all for where to put the washers. So I'm just gonna use my common sense and do it that way, all right? So what we're gonna do, again, also there's no specific side that you put the bolt on. Um, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna undo this. We're gonna get the bolt in here, okay? Pass it through to the other side. Line that up, of course. All right, I'm gonna have to see what, what I can do about the rubber thing, but for now I'm gonna just loosely fit this bolt on there okay I think I I'm gonna turn the washer around so the rounded side also is facing the other side okay get this all lined up all right get that in okay come on get on there okay rotate this and then, oops washer around because I prefer the flat side of the washer on the metal and the rounded side outwards okay last one here okay hopefully I can still line up the rubber thingies okay this one there we go okay just like that Okay, let's see if I can line up the rubber feet thingies here that I was kind of having trouble with earlier. This is going to be... I'm pretty sure the rubber pieces are just going to get eaten up, so I don't know how this is going to work. Let me see, I'm going to have to probably flop this down. There we go. Now you can see we kind of have some area to work on it. I don't know if you can see all the parts that I'm doing. It's too sunny. I can't see what I'm recording. All right, let's see. Can I line this up to where the rubber pieces don't get completely eaten off? Kind of, not really. Not really. 
Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I think the rubber pieces are supposed to get eaten off or be removed. I don't know. I'm gonna rotate this and work on it now, this way. Let me pick this up. Rotate this around. And I'm gonna try and figure this out. Let's see, I don't know if there's any point recording this. Well, I'm, I'm assuming these rubber pieces are supposed to be taken off because they don't really insert into this at all. So I guess we'll take these rubber caps off. Maybe these are just to prevent damage during shipping, okay? And we're just gonna line up these pipes here we can. Why is it not lining up? Here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Then again, we're going to put these plates on. Again, I'm not really one for advertising the stuff with the names. I'm going to put it inside. Okay. We have four of these. There's no um, washers on these. So we're going to get these square ends and put them in through like this, oops, okay, then I'm going to get the bolt through, wait, I don't even think you guys are seeing what I'm doing, <laughs> there we go, okay, so we have the square ends here that line up with the squares here, okay, and I'm going to tighten the bolts in, just finger tight for now. Okay. Same thing with this one. Just finger tight for now. Okay. The other ones. I know I'm probably not doing this in the correct order, but that's why I'm just finger tightening the bolts. We'll fix it up after. Okay. Lined up as well. Finger tight in this bolt. Okay, let me check something real quick here. I don't know if it matters. Okay, I guess we should do the big one first. Okay, well, anyways, I got this all in place. I'm gonna rotate it back around again and we're gonna tighten the bolts onto this big piece first. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to actually flip this down forward. Okay, just like that. All right. And I guess we can try with the tools they provided us. Because they gave us all these wrench thingies. I'll go close up for the first bolt. Hopefully this isn't in my way. Okay. Right, let's see what size do we need for this I'm assuming we need the larger ones nope these bolt thingies are ginormous all right we're gonna use this I guess so there's multiple sides okay there we go that fits and I'm assuming it uses this other one so I'm gonna hold the this side in place and we're gonna use this one to tighten it um, I'm actually probably gonna get my tools because these tools suck, they're super thin, and I think it's just going to make the job harder. Yeah, as you can see, this is going to take a really long time. So I'm going to actually get my um, tool set and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back. So the size you want to use is either a size 17 or 11 16 socket, and I got two, so I'm going to use one to hold it and the other one to turn it. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Right now I'm not going to tighten it all the way, I'm just going to tighten it to where it's kind of folding closer because I want to make sure it's evenly done. Okay, so we're going to turn this 
Ugh, you don't need to see the tool set. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> all right, so I think we can see all three now. Right over here, this one. third one now. Oops. Okay, so it's pretty lined up. Okay. Kind of want to make sure this is down as much as possible. All right, and now let's go ahead and tighten it. I'm going to start with the middle one. I should actually use the larger handle one for more leverage, and I should actually switch the thing. Oh, I can't. It's different socket size. Okay, so I'm going to use the larger one for more leverage here to make sure it's nice and tight. Um, you don't want to tighten it too much to where it starts bending the tube, so make sure you don't do that. That's probably why they provide those small TV tools, then it's impossible to do that. But, uh, okay. Tighten it up pretty good. Tighten up pretty good. All right. We'll do the same with this one. Okay, tightened up pretty good. All right, let's go ahead now and bolt in the thing here. Okay, oops, all right. So now we got the little license plate cover thing on one side. Um, let me rotate this so you guys can see, I guess. I'm gonna hit, end up hitting the car, so give me a second. I'm gonna move this. Hello. Yeah, over there. Okay. That in. All right. What size socket is this? I think this is different. Oh no, it's the same size. Okay. Nice. So, can I put this closer for you guys? Here we go. All right. Thank you over here, fold it in on the square, so I'm pushing this side in, and we're just going to tighten this down, I'm surprised they didn't put the metal tubes on all four, they only did it on, I think the top if I remember correctly, and I'm assuming they did it that way because the bottom one has that whole metal rod helping hold it. So I guess they felt it wasn't necessary. Okay, so I tighten this one corner one in first. We're gonna do this next corner. Make sure the square holes are lined up. Okay. Just tighten that down all the way. I'm honestly considering putting the bolts outwards because this will hit your cargo. Uh, I mean, that, I'm pretty sure that's how it's normally, people will put it that way. Yeah. But honestly, then this way the cargo is going to get hit by your stuff, by the sharp points. Okay, that's good. Wait, oh, okay. This one. Okay. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight. The last one. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, of course. Good. All right. 
Now right, we're gonna get the other one, of course. Get my tool set out of the way. All right. So I got this one, other square plate. We're gonna slide this back. All right, oh, you guys can't even see. So we're gonna lower you down. Okay. Which side is more rounded? It's about even on this one. Okay. They both have like some marks on it, so. All right, I think this side's a bit, this face is a bit more rounded, so we're gonna line it up that way. Let's grab the four. Okay, so the lock, uh, you won't be able to fit it on the uh, toe hitch, the tongue or whatever. So it is gonna have to be on the outer one, which I guess is uh, makes it easier to quickly remove the hitch. So that's nice, because then you don't need tools to do it. All right, so that's probably where I'll put it, but the problem is then you'll have that thing, this, um, the problem is you'll always have this sticking out of your car. This is gonna end up being stuck on there. So I'm gonna see if I can do what that other person did and maybe cut a square out if, I'm, if I use this a lot. And that way I can leave the, uh, the thing in place and I don't have to keep taking it out. Um, so that way the hole is completely covered. So we'll see, because I don't know if I'm gonna use a tow hitch thing where I use the lights. So we'll see. But, uh, for now, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. So I don't have the giant hole in the back of the car and things can crawl in there, so yeah. Okay. Last one. All right, so I guess, let me see if I can get more of a side angle so you can see both sides. Kind of, not really. Nope. Well, maybe here. Kind of, not really. <laughs> no, it's gonna fall over. Uh, can I rotate this a little? There we go. Okay. Well, that's not gonna work. So you guys are just gonna stare at my knee or something, probably like this. Okay, I guess that's good. I'm just gonna tighten these in. wondering I am doing diagonal corners so man this thing's wobbling around too much but still I'm gonna stick my foot under there This one's not wobbling. Why is this one? Okay, maybe. Yeah, what is going on here? Oh, is it better now? Okay, it's better now. It's not tightened enough. Okay, this one I can tighten more, so I'm gonna tighten one. There we go. This one more now. A little bit, really. Okay, there we go. Now let's get this one in. Okay, 
bending the metal inward. So almost there. There we go. Tighten that in all the way. Good. Perfect. And the last one right here. if this bigger one if I have more leverage if I can tighten it more. Oh, good. Okay this one I can tighten more. And the last one. Okay so that should be good. I'm gonna do the other one, tighten it up a bit more. I want to make sure the bolts are all really tight so that there's no play at all because if it allows for some play and vibration then it's easier to break so okay all right we're gonna move over back to the other side here all right and let's tighten those back a little bit more okay oh, oh too wobbly yep i'm able to pull these up a bit more force to pull then to push so let's try this side again a little as well which way do I oh. okay so I'll try pulling this way okay. right, and the last one good all right so we're just about done let's see so we have two of these bolts I'm assuming the shorter one goes on the inside and the longer one goes on the outside. Let me double check. And we also have this twist bolt, but again, I'm going to use the lock one instead. All right, I'll be back. All right, I was want wrong. It wants the longer one in the inside here. So I believe both these things are the same. Yep, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to actually put this piece in first. Um, they actually tell you to attach it to the thing first, but I'm gonna do it this way. I feel like this would be a little bit easier so I have room to work with outside. So I'm gonna get this piece in here first. Okay, line it up. And we're gonna get this in. Ow. Okay, so we're gonna get this in. Good, got that into place. Let me move this back so I can show you guys what's going on in there. way all right <laughs> this stuff's all in the way so let me move things around a little more okay how can I show this better this this uh, thing doesn't go far down enough so probably gonna have to just hold the camera by hand oops I didn't realize I accidentally pushed the thing to end the recording anyways I had this the wrong way you want this so that it raises higher off the ground uh -huh. I didn't notice till I sat down to look at it. All right, so <laughs> bless me. <you. laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this in. All right, we're gonna line up the holes there. Uh oh, my stuff is floating around. Okay, now we're gonna get this thing in. So this one you want to go probably not from this side. I mean, I guess you can if you can reach it. You can go in from this side, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna go in from this side. Okay. Let's see if I can see here. Okay, so we can see in there. We're gonna get into that hole. Then we gotta line up both holes. Okay, get that in. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna make sure to get it through to the other side, of course. Okay. Oops, sorry. There we go. 
the reason I'm holding it like this and not using the tripod is because the tripod doesn't go low enough. Okay, then to get this in, what you want to do, you get this pin in. I'm going to rotate this so it's easier. So basically you have it aiming towards you. All right, how am I going to put the camera here to show this? Well, maybe if I put the tripod further back. Let me see here. I don't know if I can show you guys this part because my tripod doesn't go that low. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'll do this. I'll, I mean, this part is pretty self-explanatory. Excuse me. So I don't know if you can't figure this part out. But let me see. I'll try and start it and then I'll show you what's going on. Alright, so here we go. So I got the pin in slightly and basically what you want to do is you just got to push this through so that it goes onto that hump there okay so push this through it's hard to do with one hand holding a camera <laughs> come on this is hard to do with holding a camera because I should keep that from spinning but okay there we go um, I actually don't like that as you can see it's hitting up here Hmm, how can I do that so it doesn't? Is the other side shorter? Other side's not really shorter, but... All right, anyways, I'm gonna pull this pin out. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it the other way, but as you can see this thing, people can pull this pin out and take it easily. So I'm gonna have to put the plastic cover on to, to hide that a bit better. Um, and I think that'll work. All right, anyways, uh, let's see. So if I do it that way, can I do it this way instead? So, okay, I was able to get it in that way. So we're gonna push it in this way so that way it will rotate the other way. All right. And now when it rotates, let's see, does it still hit? Okay, now it doesn't hit, so that's good. But I don't think the weight of this is enough that it can pull itself out, but better now because it doesn't hit the top here okay and it can rotate completely before it was hitting the the inside here okay so now we got to get the other piece on and I'm going to um, I guess I'll do a video of that so I'm gonna put the put it back on the tripod okay if I wasn't recording this this installation and stuff would be way faster all right, so let's see. Maybe I can put both. I can probably put this one, this bolt, the stronger bolt, instead of using the pin. So if I did that, it'll be extra difficult. There'll be like a lock and you'll need a tool. But, um, hmm. Actually, would this have fit through the other? No, that's too thin, huh? Yeah, I don't think that longer one is a thinner, is a smaller. Oh. Interesting. Give me a second. I'll be back. All right. So two things I discovered. This is not usable. All right. So um, normally this would go basically underneath this piece and then this would go on top and then it would screw on or bolt on there. But again, um, because of the design, um, we can't even use this thing because, yeah, like this, this thing is under here, so you don't have access to it. So we can't use this thing. Um, and then the other thing for safety, I'm actually going to make it so this thing faces upwards. And the reason being is um, then the metal piece on top kind of pushes it and helps hold it down. Um, so yeah, we can't use the anti-rattle thing. I think what I'm going to do instead, I'm probably going to shove some kind of paper or something in here. So that way it will push against here and it will rest on this to prevent it from rattling. Okay, so we're probably going to do that. Um, and yeah, I'll be back when I, I'm going to get some stuff and I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to see about cutting the square into here and that will probably act as security. Either that or I can use this bolt as security. But if I use this bolt, I won't be able to get the tool in if I put that plastic cover there. 
So it really depends how the car behaves with just this piece in. If it doesn't really lose much uh, range or aerodynamics or anything, which I'm doubting it would, the only thing is then this is exposed and somebody might run into it and get their car like punctured a hole in it, which I mean, that's not my fault, that's their fault. And I guess it'll protect my car somewhat or maybe it will destroy my hitch, <laughs> which might be worse. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna put that thing in for now and we'll see so let's get this a little bit higher so i can kind of get in there all right so we're gonna get this in again again i'm gonna get something to put under here maybe some kind of strong cardboard or something so let me get that and i'll be back all right so i'm back i got this stuff that i um get from hard drives that i work on and basically i'm just gonna cut some pieces here we're gonna cut it to be about the width of this thing, okay? So, probably to there. Doesn't need to be perfect, all right? And I'm just gonna cut this stuff up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a shim at the top, okay? That fits, and then I'm gonna put a double shim at the bottom. So, we're gonna fold this into three pieces, I guess. All right, so just like that, I'm gonna cut this so that we have basically three. And hopefully this will be enough to prevent the wobbling. So I got that, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove this piece into the top. I don't know if you'll even be able to see, okay. So I'm gonna shove this one up here and I'm gonna leave it sticking out slightly. All right, let's see if I can somehow get that. There we go, okay. And this is just going to the edge of the piece. Oh, I'm gonna have to make sure this all lines up right. Okay, because that thingy we have doesn't work. So um, let me see if I can show you this shoving that piece of paper into there, okay? Just like that, all right. And this side, hopefully you'll be able to see from here because I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera and do this. So this, I fold it so that the thinner edge will go in. So I'm gonna pull this up and let's see if I can even get a corner of this in, okay? If I can't get this in at all, then I guess the shim isn't gonna really do anything. Let's see. I guess I can't even get a corner of it in. Let's see if I can get just one layer. Okay, it looks like one layer will fit. And I basically have to hold this up. So I should have just cut the thing in half. But uh, this is actually really difficult to get in there, so it's not gonna make it much better, I think. Yeah, that's really tough to get in there. So I think what I have to do because um, this thing is like two layers of stuff. Oh, this side actually has the flatter edge here. So I'm gonna see if I can shove that in. And it looks like it's kind of going in. Yeah. Okay, so what I can do is I can have this out slightly. So that way when I get this in, then when I push this in, It'll hopefully get the paper in with it. Okay, and let's see. There we go. And that shoved in with the paper, but I probably pushed it too far. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, where's the... Yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> um, technically, I guess this one should go on top. It would be easier. I need the longer length one for that. Okay. Man, the things we gotta do to get this to work. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna try and hold this in place while I shove this whole thing in. If that even works. Get in there. Okay, wiggling it around a little works or helps. Okay. So 
that helps a lot with the vertical movement up and down, but not the left and right. So I guess I'm gonna need two more pieces. I don't have two more pieces. Um, let's see what how it sounds when I get the little pin in. Yeah, you can see it can still wobble side to side. Eh, it's still wobbly, not good enough. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna fold this stuff up and try and shove some in the side and see, but it's probably just gonna come out. No, that's not gonna do anything. So, I guess this isn't really gonna help. We'll just pull this stuff out because I don't want it to fall out while I'm driving and then get lost in there. So, I don't know what to do. I guess we're gonna end up living with this. Uh, the only other thing I can do is wrap a bunch of tape around it to make it um, thicker a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what else we can do. Um, what we need is like a plastic ring that goes around in here and just inserts into there. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know. And if I cut a square in here, that wobbling, it might pull out this thing. So, I'm not too sure what, what else we can do about this. We can kind of wrap this around the edges like that. I should have left it a full piece. I can maybe wrap it around like this and shove that whole thing in. But how am I going to get it to line up right? You know what I mean? How am I going to get this to line up right? And get in there. Get in there. Yeah, I can't. It's hard to do this. I'd have to, like, tape it. In. Oh, actually, let's work. It fits. It's still going to wobble, but it fits. Okay. So that actually worked to get that one piece in and then maybe I can shove this one in the top <laughs> it's not really going to do much I don't think can I shove this in the top up there kind of wiggle it and shove it in Pull this back a little. It's definitely snugged up. Okay. And I can maybe get this one in. And if I hold this, I can wiggle it and snug it in. <laughs> oh shoot, I almost dropped the phone. Okay. Wiggle and snug it in. Snug it in there, please. There's not much room to get my hand in here to do this, so that makes it a lot more difficult. I think what I can do to make this a little easier to get in, oh wow, it's actually jumped in there pretty strong. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut this like a triangle a little bit, not completely, but you know what I mean, rounded. Round the edges. Yeah, that's way easier to shove in there. Okay, and then, now we can wiggle this in while holding that down and hopefully get that in. Snug that in real good. Oh yeah, that's pretty snug now. Still wobbles a little, but it's way more snug to where it's even difficult for me to shove this thing in. <laughs> that might be... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back out. Okay. It's working. Okay. So now this thing is really snug and difficult for me to even wiggle around. Let's go ahead and get this thing in. Getting it out is definitely going to be a pain. But there we go. Now we got that, it's good. It's gonna be a bit quieter. I'm gonna rotate that metal thingy so when I put this, it's gonna be, again, rotating onto this. Let me actually do it this way. Okay. There we 
we go. So when it rotates, it's up like that, and this metal thing kind of pushes it in. Should I do it the other way? Sorry, guys. This is probably boring for you. Okay, let's get it so flat side up, maybe. There we go. I don't think it really matters, but is this more rattly? That's actually more rattly, so I have to do it the other way. Sorry, guys. This is an experiment, okay? <laughs> you can obviously tell it's not something I do often. This is the first time I've ever bought, and so bought something like this, so... Okay. Shove that in. Oh, no. Shove that in. Yeah, it's definitely less rattly this way with the wavy part um, more towards the top. Okay, let me put this thingy away and I'll be back. All right, so I'll probably save this piece for when I get my cyber truck. Anyways, let's go ahead and bolt this other thing on. So we have these two pieces, all right? I'm gonna have to move this back so you guys can see. Raise this up. Okay, so the main bolt is going to go here, the one that tightens, and then the other ones will go either here or here, depending if you're having it vertical or if you're having it the other way. So what we're going to do, let's see if I can do this, because I am going to have to, I'm going to do the ultra wide view, I guess, or I can just put my phone further, but whatever. All right. So I'm going to have to carry this up here. I'm going to try and do it the vertical way lined up okay and I'm gonna hold on to this for now we're gonna get this I guess we'll have all the bolts going the same way so I'm gonna get it on this side first okay and then I'm gonna have to lift this and hopefully not hit my car with it uh oh this is gonna be tough Okay, I guess we'll do it the other way. Wait, I'm supposed, I want to actually use this lock thing. So, I'm going to use that. The keyed lock thing. And the reason I'm using this instead is so if I ever want to take it out, I can do it easily without having to use the ratchet tools. Only thing is if I lose the key, I'll be in trouble. Okay, I'm going to use my knees to lift this. And hopefully I can raise it to the right height. Probably not. Okay. Higher. Getting closer. There we go. Come in. Can't find the right spot. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do, I guess I can put this short short bolt in. Might be easier to find. Yep. Okay, there we go. So we got that one holding it. Get this one in now, hopefully. Is it possible to use this lock one for this? I don't see why it shouldn't be. I guess it's harder to do because. Oh, there we go. Come on, line up. Line up. There we go. So we got that all lined up. Now I'm going to get this on. Wait, what happened to the rubber piece? <laughs> the rubber piece got like rolled up onto the thing, I think. Where'd it go? Wasn't there a rubber piece on this? I don't know. I don't see it. Anyways, I guess we'll just take this out. Put that in. Okay. And hopefully this bolt is strong enough. I'm assuming it's the same solid piece of metal. Okay, then I guess we can get this on. I thought there was another rubber piece, but I guess not. Okay, so if I do it this way, it's locked. If I do it this way, it's locked. Okay, so we'll lock it on. Cover that up. All right. Bolt out. I'm gonna put it the other way so they're 
all facing the same side. Okay. And then we got this. So I'm gonna test driving it. Oh, this bolt can barely reach in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I guess we'll do it from this side. There we go. All right, so here you can see we got this. Oh, I found the rubber piece. How'd it fall over there? Okay, well, let's take this back off. Which way? Right, okay. Uh-oh, my family's here. All right, anyways, we got that in. So we'll now lock this into place. Okay, make sure I twist it the right way. If I do it this way, it's off, okay. If I do it this way, it's on. Okay, and then we'll put that into place, and that's in place. All right, so there we go. We got this. Am I gonna be able to close the Am I going to be able to close the trunk with this on? That's a question. So let's see here. Where is it going to hit? If I leave this open, okay, the trunk will definitely hit if you leave that, if you leave this in the up position. So I definitely have to put it down. So let's see here. Okay, and it's slightly sticking out from the edges, so it's definitely going to cause wind resistance and drag. Okay, so let's take this out. Now we're gonna lower this down. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna drop my phone. Okay, so I'm gonna lower this down. Did I put it the wrong way? Whoops. Oh wait, this one stays on. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. So this piece needs to stay on. Why did I take it off? Come on, go back in. So this piece is kind of a difficult to get in to find the right place. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh. It's lined up. Why is it so difficult to get this piece in? What's not lining up right? Can we use your charger? Oh, this isn't lining up right. Okay, there we go. This thing all the way. It's so difficult to line this up right. And also this rubber piece falls off. Uh-oh, did it slice it? Oh no, it sliced the rubber O-ring. So I'm gonna have to, in the future what I'll do is I won't put this up rubber O-ring. And then once I get it on, then I'll put this rubber O-ring. So I'm gonna have to see about getting a replacement of this rubber O-ring. Okay, let's get this on. Yeah, because now that rubber o-ring got sliced. So I'm gonna have to get a new rubber o-ring and we'll lock it back into place. Put this on. All right, so we're gonna pull this tab out. I pulled the wrong one. Then we're gonna pull this. Can it not do it? What's going on? Oh, oops, I didn't take the thingy out. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Sorry, I'm losing my mind here. All right, we're gonna let this go down. Then we can put this in. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. And then we'll get this in. And there we go. So we have that locked in. It's kind of crooked. It's very crooked, actually. So this is, why is it so much to one side? Okay. Well, it's not as crooked now, but it's still crooked. So this is crooked to one side. Okay, anyways, so we should be able to close the trunk now. But it's like super crooked. take this out. Now that the trunk is closed, we should be able to put it up. If you don't watch it, it's going to actually hit the trunk here, so I have to make sure to hold on to it. Okay, and then this can drop in like that. 
okay that won't hit the trunk so that's good but this thing is like crooked so I don't know if there's a way I can fix that it's pretty crooked and it's, it's pretty wobbly so while you're driving it's gonna wobble around a lot I don't know we'll see but I don't know why it's so crooked to one side anyways I'm gonna try putting stuff on it this pin back out so crooked but uh yeah i'll test this out we'll see how it goes i'll see you guys in a bit so one nice thing about this is as you can see there's a big area of empty space so you can walk in here and you can get stuff from the trunk um but yeah i think it's going to greatly affect the range wind resistance but we'll find out and also don't forget to put the car in tow mode let me do that real quick for you to see and i'll be back Okay, so here's what it looks like with the tow thing down, as you can see. Um, I'll probably have to also show what it looks like when it's up. Uh, maybe I'll put it on my phone mount for now so you guys can kind of see. And we'll also see if it can somehow drive on its own. So I'm going to put this here, okay. And we're going to try and also do the uh, full self-driving beta and see what happens. Okay, so got this here let's zoom all the way out okay probably need to run the AC because my phone's gonna overheat if I don't okay so let's turn on the tow tow mode so you go in the little car um, and I'm gonna guess let's see is it in pedals and steering oh yeah so we got trailer mode on here so it says to always enable trailer mode before towing a trailer um, trailer mode disables or restricts certain vehicle functions including some driver assistance features do not enable Trailer mode when not towing a trailer. Okay, so I'm kind of curious what will happen if I don't put the trailer mode on first We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna put it in drive And let's actually turn this on so I can kind of see where the trailer is so I don't hit anything with it Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and Let's see, where can I navigate to? Navigate to Milpitas High School. Okay, so I'm gonna close this, oops, close that for now. Let's raise this back up. Um, okay, it doesn't know where the high school is, there we go. All right, let's see what happens. There's a van in the way, so, oh, I should have let it do its thing. Too late. <laughs> I kind of wanted to let it do its thing and then kind of see what's happening with the trailer. So we'll take a look at the trailer here. Okay. Ooh, it's going pretty quick. Okay, let me close the windows. It's not complaining about the trailer or anything, so I'm surprised. I don't know if I stack stuff on it, it will probably complain. I don't know how close it will follow next to cars if it's going to move over to a lane and then hit them with the trailer. But uh, right now you can see where the trailer is. Okay, apply slight turn for sure. So far so good, it's doing just fine. There you go, go. It's not going, so I pushed the pedal. It was waiting too long. In 500 feet, make a U turn to stay on the way. Of the parkway. Oops, why is it on manual auto? I wonder why it was so hot. Now make a U turn to stay on Escuela Parkway. Okay. Let's turn this on again and see what's going on. It's going too slow. I'm going to push the pedal so it goes. Bad. Now they are not bad. Not oh, bad. It's going over the lines and then push the pedal so it keeps going. Oh, it was going into the school. I forgot I said it to go to the school. Alright, anyways. Where's that car going? Why are they backing up? 
let's see what happens now if I put on trailer mode. So I'll turn that on. Navigate home. So now we'll have it navigate home. What's this lady doing? Okay, I don't know what she's doing. Okay. Oh, she's doing a U-turn. Okay. All right, so now trailer mode is on. I don't know if there's... Oh, okay. Come on. Give me the full self-driving thing. Can I not use full self-driving when there's a trailer? Okay, so when there's a trailer, I don't get the full self-driving. So there's no full self-driving beta while while you're pulling the trailer. Okay, keep that in mind. So as you can see, I can't use that option. I'm going to pull over. I'm going to raise the trailer hitch up lock it into place and we'll see how that functions so let me pull over somewhere here but again in trailer mode it doesn't want to let you use the thing so I'm going to go to controls or pedals and steering we're going to turn the trailer mode off and you can see now I can turn the full self driving back on interesting okay so 25 speed limit it's not, okay, it is seeing the speed bump, so it's slowing down. It hit it. Whoa, you can see the trailer hitch bounces a lot. So, yeah, you want to be very careful with bumps like that. That thing bounced quite a bit. I'm going to go over the speed bump again to see what happens. I'm going to go slower this time. Okay, this time I'm driving it myself, so let's see. Right, still bounces somewhat. I didn't check to see how it's gonna hit the curb if I'm backing up. Um, for that, I'll probably use the um, the summon mode so I can see from the back what's going on. Okay, there's a fuel here. Be careful because the car is a lot longer now. I guess with it up too. Okay, I'm gonna move the thing up. Oh, this is a fire lane toeway zone, so I can't stop here, apparently. Okay, I don't know where I'm going, because I don't really navigate on this road. Okay, we did go in a full circle, so that's good. Okay. Okay, if I go slow over the bumps, we're okay. I'm gonna park here. So, the thing is, now I don't have the sensors for backing up to detect that I'm going to hit the car. So, oh, so as you can see, the sensor always thinks I'm going to hit something. So, if I back up, it thinks I'm always going to hit something. So, let's see if I put on the trailer mode and I back it up. So, now it doesn't complain, as you can see. Okay. All right, and then we can back up. The thing is, I don't know how close this is to the car. I'm just gonna assume when I kind of stop seeing it that we're close enough so I can see it there. I'm gonna see what it looks like when I'm outside. And yeah, did I not bring my shoes with me? I'm barefoot, okay, give me a second. Let's go out to see how it looks. I'm barefoot right now, so hopefully I don't get in trouble. All right. So you saw where it was. We still have quite a bit of room. I'm gonna undo this pin here. Okay. Ow. Okay, we're gonna undo that pin. We're gonna lift this thing back up. <sighs> okay, and oh, if you don't have the pin, it's gonna hit the car. So you wanna be very careful. Maybe I should put some kind of pad on here. So if I do some, for some reason, let it go, that it won't smack into my car. Um, all right, I gotta do this while I'm kind of, okay, this is a little bit tricky to do with one hand holding the phone, but there we go, okay, we'll get that bolt in, I'll push this thingy in, there we go, all right, so now, all right, so now we have that, 
I'm probably gonna put something, where does it hit here? Oh, it hits on this, so that's not really a problem, but maybe I'll put a foam pad on here, and I'll put a foam pad here, okay? All right, let's go back into the car. I'm burning my feet. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot my shoes. All right, so let's get that back in. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, you don't need to see my pin, so hold on, I'll be back. All right, so let's go again. You can see now what it looks like. You have this giant cage, all right? And again, I don't think it's gonna let you do full self-driving on trailer mode, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so, uh, not service. Pedals and steering, we'll turn off trailer mode, and we'll just continue going. Gotta wait for it to see the road. I'm gonna look at the cameras back here, so we can kind of see. Again, if I back up, it's probably gonna tell me I'm hitting something, gonna hit something. Yep, as you can see, okay? So, yeah, while you're backing up, that's gonna be somewhat of a difficulty. No cars coming. Okay, you can do full self-driving mode, as you can see. That thing is flopping around a bit. Did I not tell it to navigate home? Navigate home. I guess it forgot. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Okay. Now I'll let it do its thing. Just fine. Turn left onto North Hilby Drive. Now turn left onto North Hilby Drive. Okay. So it's creeping forward to check for visibility because this is a blind corner. and it's taken off. Nice. All right. There we go. Now your destination is on the right. I'm going to try it again. Uh, this time I'm going to take the entire thing out and we'll see how it goes. All right. So it stopped here. Let me see if I'm able to back into the driveway easily or not. Oh, that's the other thing I need to check. I need to see how well or how close it is to the driveway. So here you can see it's very difficult to see right now. I don't know if I'm going to hit my parents' car with the thingy. No, it's fine. Okay. So we can back up. These two side cameras are really nice to have. Makes it really easy to see I'm not going to hit anything. Okay. And looks good. All right, so there we go. All right, next thing I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take the thing off the um, off the hitch with the two bolts. Oh, actually, I need to drive it forward and backwards and see how it looks, so let me do that. It's probably not gonna wanna go backwards because it's gonna think that it's hitting something. So, let's see. So I'm gonna lower this thing back down. So we're gonna pull this pin out. We're gonna take this out again. I do have to hold on to this because otherwise it's gonna hit my trunk. So let me see how I can do this with one hand, okay. Oh. Yeah, I need to put a foam here so that I don't have to worry about this like resting against my trunk. Um, so I'll find something to put there. They have some outdoor foam tape, but maybe I'll stick some neoprene on it. Okay. Then we're going to put this on, I guess, if I can. There we go. Get this in there. Okay, so as you can see, we have this on. What I'm going to try and do now, I'm going to do the summon mode. And we'll see what happens. So let's open up on the app. We're going to do summon. We're going to drive it forward, and then we're going to drive it backwards. Okay, so summon on this phone. Will it let me? All right, so let's go. Let it drive forward. OK. 
Okay, it's going down. There's no cars. Okay. All right, let's see here. You can see how close it is to the curb there. Okay. Can I keep going? Uh-oh, it's stopped. Okay. I need to make sure no cars are coming. Okay. You can see how close it is to the curb there. It's in stopping mode. Okay, I'm going to go forward again. So you can see, depending how far the curb is, that could be pretty low. Okay, now it's in stopping mode again. Good, there's no cars. We're going to go in reverse and see if it will reverse. Is it going? It doesn't want to reverse. So I'm holding reverse and it, it doesn't want to do it. I'm doing it again. So it doesn't want to reverse because it thinks there's a car or something behind it, okay? Just like when I was trying to reverse it. So I have to get back in the car and manually reverse the car. Give me a second. All right, so again, we have to manually reverse because it looks like I'm about to hit a car or the thing thinks I'm gonna hit something here. Okay. So there is that to keep in mind. All right, in terms of like a long road trip, I'll test that later. We'll see how that holds up. I'm gonna try putting something somewhat heavy on it. Maybe like a 50 pound bag of rice or something or some weights I have so I don't have to worry. All right, let me see if I can take this thing out easily. So we're gonna put this onto here. I am gonna have to use the key. Uh, my phone battery's about to die, so I'm gonna have to do this quick. All right, hold on, I'll be back. All right, so we're back. Let's go ahead and take this thing out. So we have these two things we need to remove. Um, I'm also gonna see if it fits in the car, but I do have to get all this junk out first or move it aside. Um, I think we can probably drop one side, the left side down. Okay, so I'm gonna drop, I drop the left side of my car down and I'm gonna move stuff over. We're gonna see if that thing will fit because the left side is the larger one. And if it fits in there, we should be good to go. Okay, so I took this pin out, took this out. We're gonna use the key to undo this thing. Okay, interesting, you have to move it to the right, okay, put this thing back in there. Okay, so this is going to be probably the tricky part. I'm going to lift it up like this, and what I'm going to have to do is I have to kind of like hold it up, so I'm going to get my hand through the grate here probably, might be best, and while I'm holding this I can pull that out, and we can take this out. Alright, let me see if I can fit this, in. oops. In the car I put the sharp end of it down on there that probably wasn't good okay so I'm gonna see if this will fit in the car rotate this all right I probably need to move more stuff over first so I'm try to put this in the car looks like it'll fit. I do have to move some of this junk over that I have in here, but I think we have a perfect, near perfect fit. Okay, let me show you. Sorry, I wasn't recording, but you can see we have a near perfect fit in here to the wall, to that chair, so we can fit three passengers and we can have this in here if we wanted, okay? Um, if you want, you can probably flip it right side up with this metal bar still facing that way, and then that way you can store more stuff in it. Um, but because this bar is kind of sticking up, it will wobble, but um, it fits. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm gonna stick it back on the thing. You already saw how I did that, and we'll see about getting some foam on it. All right, I'll see you guys then. All right, so here are the improvements I made. Well, this rubber uh, washer thing was broken, so I found a rubber band that fit it. Um, I'm probably gonna see if they'll send me a replacement of that. 
Um, all right, what else? So I put this neoprene, I wrapped it around. What I did was I unbolted this and then it gave enough space that this would hold it, okay? So now if I lift this up, again, it's uneven though. So if you look, it's actually more going to this side. So I slid the neoprene over as far over to that side as possible. So that way it's less likely to hit, but it does get pretty close. That's pretty darn close. If it's like really windy or someone like smacks it, then it's gonna, it'll hit the car. But if I push to the left, you can see there's no chance, but to the right side, if I push, um, yeah, there's pretty good chance it's gonna hit. So anyways, that's how we have that there. And that's all because of this thing is uneven. I don't know why it's uneven like that. I don't know if there's a fix for it or what. Maybe put a little weight on it to bend it over one way or the other. Okay. Um, but yeah. And then I added another thing. So I added this neoprene here. I don't know how well it will hold up. But um, I put a shorter end through here. And then this wider end is here. And that way, um, that way as you can see, uh, this part is flat here and it goes here, okay? And then I put a zip tie to kind of just hold it so it doesn't fall back inside. I cut a slit through the bigger one and poke, uh, poke this through and then I put the zip tie to keep it from falling inside. All right, and yeah, so now it's good. Works well. All right, it's easy for me to put this pin thing in on my own if I wanted to. Um, again, I would just pull this, I'd have to kind of pull it back and right now what I can do is I can rest it on my head as I slowly push it forward with my head. Oops, I'll go this way. As I slowly push it forward with my head, it should line up and automatically go into place, but I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna hold this just to be safe. Um, yeah, it's gonna end up being a little risky because I might drop it. Let me see here. How can I do it the other way? Okay, I'll hold it on this side and I'll put it from this side just as a test. Oh, see, now it hit my car, but luckily, because I put that pad, see, no problem. No problem there, all right? So, of course, I wouldn't have one hand holding a camera while I do this, so here you can see it's pretty easy if I use both hands. Or I guess I can hold from up here and do it this way. There we go. Okay, but uh, yeah, see, if I don't, if I didn't do that, um, that upgrade that I did, then basically the thing would have just smacked into my car really hard and that would have not been good. We probably would have ended up with a big dent here, all right, because this is like metal. All right, and there you go. Now we got this. You can hear when I wiggle this because of that pad can I even zoom in there because of that neoprene padding I put there um, I don't know how long that will hold up it's probably gonna get chopped in half eventually but you can see it holds itself pretty well oops there you go so it holds up pretty well and yeah now if I have this hit it won't be a problem okay also I think if I accidentally open the the trunk it'll hit here and that will probably stop it. I'm not gonna test that because I don't wanna risk damaging my front or trunk for that. All right, so, so far, other than it being weirdly wobbled to one side, I don't know why that is, um, but if you look at this, it could be because this isn't even. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I might complain and see if they'll send me a replacement but that's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna have to bolt up a new one and redo the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I don't think I wanna live with it being uneven like that because that's gonna be a real pain. All right, anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna unbolt this from here. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put it in the trunk and I'm gonna leave the this big piece that comes out of there on and we'll see if I drive with that in how it goes. All right, and yeah, so I don't want to leave this exposed like that because then anybody can pull that pin out and steal this whole thing. So I'm probably going to end up doing the the thing with that plastic and see if I can somehow mod it in a way to get this pin in and still have the cover on. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I'll probably make a little square cutout in there so that I can use the whole thing 
and then maybe find a way to make a rubber piece that can cover the hole whenever I'm not using it. Okay? Um, I can probably make a 3D printed thing with that or I can just use my 3D printer pen because I broke my 3D printer for somehow it just stopped working. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to take this off. We'll drive a bit with that and see how it goes. All right, so we're going to try driving again. This time, um, I took the thing off. You see we just have that metal bolt. We're going to see if it detects any issues. Um, again, I'm going to drive in reverse and stuff and things like that. I just left that on there because it's more work to take that thing off. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm going to drive. I'm going to floor it. Oops, all my stuff is flying around. Um, we got the pedal set to standard and sport. Okay, so let's go ahead and navigate home. I'm gonna see what happens. Can it go? Oops. Let's, I gotta turn myself because I need to get rid of this. Is it going? Oh, it was gonna U-turn up there, I guess. Okay, let's see if it can do it now. So I'll let it drive. You can see it's driving on its own. Now okay. turn left onto Columbus Drive. It's doing drive. the turn signals just fine. Slowing down. And it wasted the brake pedal. It wasted using the brake. Oops. Did I accidentally take it out of it for, on accident? I don't remember telling it to stop doing the full self-driving. Now turn left onto Madeline Drive. Okay, so it's taking this road. So far, so good. Good. A bit close to that car. It was a little bit close to that car. So come on, detect the roads again. There we go. It's a little bit close to that car, so I got a little worried, and I pulled it away. Okay, so it's driving this just fine. We're gonna see if it backs into the driveway just fine. So far, so good. Now turn left onto North left Hill turn, Drive. Man. This is a somewhat of a blind corner, so it's likely going to slowly creep again. But yeah, it's doing the full self-driving just fine. Okay, no cars, no cars. Good. Now your destination All right. is Looks on the fine. Right. All right, now I'm going to back in. We're going to see if it detects that something's obstructing the sensor. Hopefully it won't. Okay, and yeah, it's not complaining this time, so... We should be fine driving it like this. Okay. Oops, I'm parking in the wrong spot. I forgot. Right now my parents are charging up their car, so I'm going to park in the other one. All right. And you can see we have that thing there. All right. No problem, no problems. Again, this I could take out if I want. I can just remove that pin. But because I put those shims of paper, it's going to be annoying to take it out and put it back. So... Um, I don't know how I'm going to keep those shims of paper there when I go to install that with the uh, cover, if I do that cutout thing that I was mentioning. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to see if I can do that. That's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to see about cutting a hole in that shim. Oh, I didn't show the, uh, the, car the cargo thing comes with a net. I'm going to show that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so here we go. I put a bo the box that this came with. You can see... It can't even fit the whole thing inside because the box, of course, has to be bigger. It came with this net that I took out of the bag. Let's see, it's all tangled up. Is it going to be easy to unravel or is it going to be a pain? Oops. Okay, I'm going to throw all this stuff inside here. There's not really much in here. Uh, my car, the hitch, can only take 160 pounds of weight. And I'm pretty sure the further out it extends, I don't know how much weight it will take towards the back. So I don't know where the 150 pounds, if it's directly on it or what, how that works. Because this hitch thing is already 160 pounds or so. 100, uh, not 160, 60 pounds, 50 to 60 pounds. So, yeah. All right, anyways, it comes with this net thing. Um, so I'm going to try and unhook this all and then we're going to strap that in to see how it goes. Okay, so we have this net. I'm going to... I guess we'll hook one on this corner here, one on this corner here. Where does it hook to? Like this? I don't know. Okay, I'm guessing we have to hook it down to this metal, the metal crate. But uh, see, I don't know how this, how does this hook? Like this? Or do I have to wrap it on itself and then hook it on itself? Oh, I guess I can do it wrapped around that way, maybe? 
interesting. Um, okay, so we can like wrap it around and then wrap it over to go this way. And that would probably be the most secure way, but oh, so, I don't know why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, we'll see. I'll wrap it like this. Okay, it's going sideways over it. And as I stretch it out, it's gonna hold itself in place, I'm sure. So, let's go ahead and go over to this side. So you can see I can pull this over and then I can stretch this to here. Okay, now. All right, that works. And then we got these two here that we can wrap over and hook somewhere if we need to. It looks like I don't really need to hook all of them, so I'll just hook the ones that I need. So, let's see, so we'll hook that one to the side like this, and we'll hook this one here. Okay, does it not go vertically? Okay, I guess it does hook that way. You have to kind of maneuver it, the hook, to get it to lock into place. But there you go. You can hook that like this. This one can hook like that, or wherever we can move it to. No, no, hey! <laughs> Grace always likes to shoot, attack the other one. Okay, so that will work like that. Hey, Grace, come here. If anything, we can pull this over here, maybe. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to pull it over like this. Okay, so I'm gonna pull one. I guess it depends how you want to do it, but I guess I can hook one like this. Then this one is gonna be loose. Um, how can I hook that? I'll hook it down here maybe, if that lets me. Nope, it doesn't. It only works certain ways. So we can only hook this on in certain ways, I guess. I don't know. Does it work that way, upside down? Okay, that kind of works. And I guess this is gonna be hanging out like that, which isn't good because I probably want this to well, I guess when I drive, if I stop, it can fly forward the way I have it right now, which isn't good. So we're going to adjust this. So you kind of have to figure out how you want to hook this into place to get it in a way that it keeps all four corners. So um, because I'm only using that small am amount of space, I guess we'll take this hook out. Okay. I guess I'm going to adopt this one then. Everyone wants to adopt the big thing. Big floof. It's a more normal one. Okay, so what yeah, we're gonna do, that? we're gonna Come make it foot. go on the Big corners foot. of that thing. Big so Big foot. Oh, I'll do I one corner Big here. Bigfoot, Big come he here. Me, so, he's... Okay, so we'll get that corner. Grace. And we'll get this corner. Okay, and then we'll wrap this over this. We'll get the other corner here and the other corner here. Then we'll wrap this over here to this corner. Okay, sorry if you're staring at my butt. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it like that. That's probably the best way. Then we have these at these corners here. Okay, so I'll wrap this one here to this corner. And then these two, I guess I can wrap under here. Get it under there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hook these on these square pieces. Okay, but uh, there you go. You can see we have that hooked in. Okay, and then if you want, I guess we can try and wrap this one over, but uh, that's probably not gonna do but too it well. Can only carry so. So we have this. It also has the ratchet straps, so I'll show those as well because right now if I just use that, it's probably not too good. This is more for smaller objects. So let me open this. I'll show you the ratchet ones. It only comes with two of the ratchet things. Um, so yeah, I have my own pack of those, the ratchet uh, straps, but uh, it came with two, so I'll show you those. Okay. So it came with these. We're gonna use these, I guess. Okay, let's close this up. And the way you use this, it has two hooks on it. Okay, we're gonna take the rubber bands off. 
Okay. So, this thing, it has two sections. There's the ratchet part, and then there's this strap part. So what you do is you just find a place to hook this down. So I'm gonna hook it more at the bottom. I'll show you how I have it set up afterwards, but uh, for now I'm gonna hook it down here. Okay, actually we can, if you want, you can like probably find a way to hook it like a weird way, but uh, you can hook it like this. And then that way, if you like pull it a certain way, it won't move. So if I want, I can hook it like that. And then I can get the other one over to here. But I think we're gonna wanna wrap it over the top like this, okay? So I'm gonna go over the middle like that. We'll take the other one. I'm gonna wrap this to here. All right, and the way this ratchet clamp thingy works is, um, let me get you guys closer so you can see. Oops. Okay, so the way this works, I'm only gonna put one because I'm just testing right now. I'm not actually setting it up for packing to go anywhere crazy, okay? But I kinda just wanna show you guys how this works. Okay, so we have this strap going over. We're gonna hook this one down here so it doesn't move around because it will hit here, okay? Again, this is just a one time. Um, and also, another thing that people don't know um, it's actually a good idea to put twists into the, the thing here. So professionals, if you see people that know what they're doing, they'll, you'll put a twist in here. And the reason why you do that is so when, um, when you drive, the wind won't get in here and cause vibration because it will like be twisting it, all right? So that's how you're actually supposed to do it. You want that thing to be twisted a little bit. Okay, anyways, get this, okay? And then what we're gonna do, we put this through this slot here, okay? And you get it through, and you want it to go through the other side to the bottom, okay? So right now it's sideways. You don't wanna pull it through here. You want it to go down, okay? So like this, you pull it through, all right? And you pull it somewhat tight, not completely tight, because you want it so that when you ratchet it, it's gonna suck in the rope like this, okay? All right, so as you can see, as you ratchet this, if you want, you can make sure this part is flat um, because that will actually help a little bit. And the way you release it is you pull this spring part and the spring down here, okay? And then you kind of do that, All right? Anyways, um, like I was saying, if you want, you can make this side more flat, um, but uh, it's not too important, okay? But if you want, you can make it more flat, okay? but you do want the other parts to twist. So we're gonna do that, okay? And then we're gonna hook that on there. All right, and then we're gonna ratchet this. So here you can see it's wrapping around this part. And then once this part wraps around that, that's where it will actually hold really tight, okay? So you keep doing this. I actually have it upside down right now. So we're gonna flip this one more time. You want the ratchet on top so you have access to it like this and you just ratchet this down, all right? There's nothing in this box, so it's gonna get squished too much if I tighten it too much, but there we go, basically like that. Then you have all this excess, you just wanna tie it up somewhere so it doesn't get all over the place. And I'll show you the setup in a bit, how I have it, okay? Kinda just wanna tie this somewhere so it doesn't get all tangled everywhere, okay? not too important to get it crazy tight or anything. Um, oops, you probably can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just wrapping this all around so that it's not moving all over the place. Uh-oh, what just happened? Why did my camera turn off? All right, so my phone battery was low. Anyways, here's how it is strapped in. I'm gonna just drive it a little bit just to see. I'm gonna floor it and stop it and see what happens. Um, but that's pretty much it for now until I get the plastic cover and cut the hole in it to show you guys but again for now that's pretty much it anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one um i'll floor it a little bit and i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like if it moved around or anything all right bye all right, so there's not really much in there but as you can see it didn't really move anywhere so it looks like we're good so i'm just going to remove everything fold it up and drive around for a bit like that and that's it for now again i'll show you guys when i cut a hole into that plastic thing so i can leave the uh, tongue or whatever thing you whatever you call that thing in there 
And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.